At first, no, Israel wasn't high on my mind, but once I started coming and realizing the connection between our Bible and Israel, and I'm thinking, why didn't I never make this connection before? It's actually pretty easy. You make the decision to go, and then if God wants you to come, which I don't think he's turned down anybody. You know, nobody's ever told me, yeah, I had all the money and everything, and God told me not to come. You know, I don't think, I don't, I've never heard anybody say that. Hi, I'm Dennis Singo from La Plata, New Mexico. Our, our first harvest was in uh, 2012. We thought it would be something that, that we could come and serve someone or somebody or someplace and uh, be able to serve together. Everybody was so glad to see us like they'd known us for a long time when we'd actually never met anybody here before. When we did tour days, I started realizing that where we were was actually written about and talked about in the Bible. Our tour guides used the Bible for the tour book. And that, you know, that really brought things home, you know, for me. The Israelite people are God's chosen people. So he's concentrating on, on this, uh, listening to everybody and helping everybody. But his main focus is here because uh, when, when the Messiah comes, this is where he's gonna come. So I know there's a lot of people who think that, well, they're gonna come, we're gonna build a big church and this is where he's gonna come. But uh, I, don't, I don't think so. I mean, it doesn't say that anywhere in the Bible. All it talks about is Jerusalem and, and, and the return of the Messiah there and that's where he'll sit on his throne. And I don't think he would say all that if he meant something else. I guess if you soak in what you read out of the Bible, then you'll know that it's all about Israel and the Jewish people. Well, when you're pruning, you're, you're, you're pruning with a bunch of other people, but you're kind of by yourself. You have time to think about present, past, and future, and, and all of that. And you, th you think about, I think a lot of us think about things we've done that maybe we're not proud of or, or things that we would like to do. You're, you're pruning yourself of the bad things. Coming here will help you straighten out in your head, you know, what's right, what's wrong, and it's worth it. I mean, uh, my wife thinks I come back a better person every time, <laughs> which is a good thing. It's always nice when family loves you. <laughs> We're not here to turn the Jews into Christians or turn Christians into Jews or anything like that. We're just, we're here to show uh, uh, love for God and, and uh, uh, love for God's people. And I, I think that's probably creates an impact that we may not exactly realize or understand. At least I don't.